Good morning, and today we're going to be proving that cube root of 2 is irrational. So we're going to be doing a proof by contradiction today. So we're going to make a statement and then find a contradiction to it. And in so doing, prove what we're, what we're trying to prove, that the cube root of 2 is irrational. So if, it, if the cube root of 2 were rational, then it could be expressed as a over b. So, uh, so let the cube root of 2 uh, be equal to a over b, where a and b are both integers, and a and b share no common factors. So I, I, I will write that, because that's actually very important. And a, b, share no common factors. Factors. That's important for later, because if we can find a contradiction to this, then it disproves our original statement that the cube root of 2 is rational, and therefore cube root of 2 must be irrational. So, cube both sides. We get 2 is equal to a cubed over b cubed. Multiply 2b cubed is equal to a cubed. That implies that a cubed is even, so where it implies a cubed is even which then in so doing implies that a is even. So from this moment, I'm going to refer to a, let a equal 2q. I've just selected q because it, it's another letter. So then we have that 2b cubed is equal to 2q cubed, which will be equal to 8q uh, cubed. So 2b cubed will be 8q to uh, 8q cubed. Divide both sides by 2. b cubed is equal to 4q cubed. What this implies is that b cubed is even. And that also implies that b is even. But if A and B are both even, that means they share a common factor of 2. So well, I'll, I'll write this as a conclusionary statement. A, B, both even. Then they must share a common factor factor of 2, and this contradicts our original statement, and this contradicts the original statement. Therefore, uh, I'm going to do my other thing. I'm going to take this one out because it's not really a therefore. That's just a statement. Therefore, the cube root of 2 is irrational. And that's a very nice proof.